Airclips.com. Hi guys and welcome to another episode of our Ultimate Cockpit Movies here at Airclips.com. I'm Patrick, but that's not important because I'm a guest today here. Hi Tom. Hi Patrick. <laughs> Thank you very much for having me. Tom, you are the director of flight. What's your role? <laughs> My role is the general manager of flight operations for TUI Flight Germany. For TUI Flight Germany and that's where we are. We're in your headquarters here in Hanover, Germany. Yeah. And uh, the big question that might interest the viewers now is why are we here? Um, and let me give you a little, little background on that one. Uh, so last summer I spent my vacation with my family uh, with the intention to not think about cockpit movies for two weeks in a Robinson Club on Cyprus. The first thing that happened on my departure airport getting there was that there was a Robinson Club 737 taxiing past my boring white aircraft and I thought, damn, I'm, I'm boarding the wrong airplane here. <laughs> um, I tried to forget about that, although it bothered me. But then in the club there was a screen showing fantastic paint job footage of uh, exactly that aircraft that I spotted before. Um, and I had to see that two times every day. And uh, that kept bothering me and I went to the club director and asked him what is this all about and this is what brought me here today. Good to have you here. <laughs> Thank you. So the Robinson Club aircraft, it belongs to TUI Flight Germany. And it's obviously a special livery, but what do you have to, what does TUI Fly have to do with Robinson Club then? What is that connection, Tom? Well, the, um, the connection is all about uh, TUI being, or TUI Fly being integrated into TUI, the travel company. And uh, we have five different airlines within uh, TUI and they're all owned by the TUI um, AG. And uh, TUI Fly Germany is uh, responsible for bringing the German customers into <laughs> their uh, destinations. And we are flying all around the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, honestly, I'm an AFGeek, so you know, <laughs> little, little details can be quite attractive for me as long as air airplanes are involved. For you as a pilot, um, having a, a special livery um, that you are flying, does that mean anything to you or is it just another 737? We have the nice blue liveries, uh, <laughs> the, the standard ones, yeah. but it's uh, obviously always uh, special flying an, an airplane with a special livery, especially uh, when it um, has the liveries of our brands in the TUI company. So Robinson, a very a special one, a very um, important one, and we have uh, we are very proud of having that aircraft in our fleet. And, and it is beautiful. It is. It is beautiful to an extent that I have to ask the question if there would be a chance that we could have a closer look into it. Maybe. Just follow us. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you very much, Tom. Thanks a lot Thanks, for making Patrick. this possible. And uh, guys, we are heading off to Düsseldorf now. Stay tuned. Enjoy. Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Sven speaking here from the uh, Düsseldorf crew room in the uh, lovely German uh, <laughs> rainy weather today. And uh, I'm here with Felix. He will join Hi. me today on a flight on a unique aircraft uh, from Robinson and we'll fly to Cyprus. And uh, in Cyprus, um, we have our colleague Patrick and he will have a look for the incredible new Robinson Resort. My name is Felix. I'm the uh, first officer on today's flight to Larnaca. Uh, we are flying a Boeing 737-800 series today. As uh, Sven already mentioned, this has a very special livery of uh, the Robinson Clubs by TUI. And uh, yeah, thanks to Air Clips, you can join us on our journey to Cyprus. Yes, and of course, it's still COVID-19 time, so we have to wear a protection mask for the time being here in the uh, crew room. Later on in the aircraft, we are in a closed environment, so you see our smile directly. Right now, you can join us for the briefing, and thereafter, we'll talk to the cabin uh, colleagues. Uh, they are in a second room now, right now. And uh, thereafter, we'll uh, go to the aircraft, and you will see a setup of the 737, how to get it flight ready. And as well, you will see Felix on an outside check. Uh, he has the right haircut for the weather today, so he will mm -hmm. he will do it uh, as a favor. So thank you very much, Felix. And <laughs> You're he welcome. Will, he will show you all of the things uh, which are important outside of an aircraft. 
Yeah, we already uh, saw a lot of messages on this flight because uh, we have uh, some uh, problems with GPS jamming and spoofing in uh, Lanaka, which is important today for the flight. We'll talk um, about that later in a more detailed way. And uh, other than that, yeah, we know about the uh, rainy weather in Düsseldorf, which is uh, quite normal this summer. But we enjoy a lovely smooth flight and it looks like that we get a nice sundown in Lanaka with a temperature about 30 degrees, which is, which is a nice evening, it <laughs> looks like. <laughs> Indeed. So, um, for the threats uh, today. For the departure, it's, uh, yeah, weather condition. It's uh, basically it's one of the most beautiful weather conditions you can imagine <laughs> for a pilot. The reason, the reason is, uh, once you break through the cloud layer, you see a nice blue sky, all mm. the sun is shining. And uh, honestly, I think that's one of the most amazing moments for every pilot. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and that's <laughs> not a threat at that's the end. That's <laughs> why we enjoy flying, of course, because uh, you see the sun every day. Exactly. We have to talk about the uh, entry procedure to Cyprus as well as the Turkish Cypriotic guys and the Cypriotic guys uh, do not speak to each other. Um, so yeah. I'm pretty sure you are familiar with that one. Yep. Okay. You want to fly to Cyprus or no, back to Düsseldorf? You can, you can do it. Okay. So um, for me, I will uh, then fly to Cyprus. So good afternoon, everybody. Um, we know each other. So um, you know Felix, uh, my colleague today. We are flying to Cyprus and it's a unique flight because we have the uh, Robinson aircraft and um, we have Patrick from Airclips joining us today and he will have a look over Felix and my shoulder to see how to fly and to set up a 737 and as well a little bit around the history of this unique aircraft with a new paint job and so on. So um, nothing special to concern, we have no specials uh, reported for the cabin. Um, the airplane is already here, then let's go and uh, I wish us all a very beautiful day with a lot of nice passengers. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So, welcome on board everybody. The aircraft came from Faro, so we are in a turnaround. The aircraft is already powered up. So we start with the preliminary pre-flight procedure. And first of all, we have to switch on the IRSs, as uh, the alignment of the inertial reference system takes about 7 to 10 minutes, usually. Um, thereafter, we switch on the voice recorder and we'll check the fluids of the aircraft. First of all, oil quantity, which looks good. And we check as well the uh, hydraulic quantity, which looks uh, perfect as well. And we check the amount of oxygen in the, uh, in the aircraft and this is sufficient for us as well on this flight. So, thereafter, we have to do a mask check. And uh, we check it for five seconds that the whole system is uh, perfect and that the oxygen uh, has no restrictions. While for the same time we look for the oxygen drop, it should drop just a little bit. Okay, looks perfect. So what we're going to do now is uh, we do the so-called exterior inspection. It's uh, basically a visual inspection of the aircraft before departure. So we start at the uh, nose section and then we walk uh, clockwise around the aircraft. It's the uh, radar radome. It's the weather radar is uh, located behind this uh, nose section. We have the angle of attack vanes as well as the pitot probes, temperature probes. They all come together in the add module. And this will display it on our flight instruments later. From the whole undercarriages, the nose wheel is the only wheel of the wheel axis, which is not brake. There's no brake assembly on that. Therefore, there's a so-called snapper on the wheel well, and it will be stopped when it uh, retracts. So everything is in order. We have the uh, nose wheel light here. Another two pitots on the right-hand side, the angle of attack sensor. 
the aesthetic parts, cargo hold. It's the landing lights and the turn off lights. There's another landing light down here. Just features on the uh, Dash 800 or next generation 737 aircraft. Then we come to the uh, most important part, the engine. This is a CFM 56-7B engine. Uh, on the 737-800, it has around about 26,000 pounds of thrust. 24 uh, fin blades, no damage on this side. The inlet cowl, everything is all right. Looks fine, let's come around here. Engine from behind, it's the tailpipe. The leading edge on this side is the uh, blended winglets for fuel efficiency. See those little holes? It's basically part of the de-icing system. So uh, hot air from the engine is called bleed air. It's rooted through the uh, leading edge, the part of the leading edge, and it's exhausted while these little holes overboard, except for the last sled, as you may see. So de-icing system for the wings works only on the leading edges from the, uh, for the four or the first three sleds. After the drop test, we'll have a look for the papers. And especially for the technical documentation. First of all, the uh, technical item log. Yeah, I look a few flights back. Uh, if there's any technical malfunction, sometimes th the technician make a note, report again, or look uh, especially for something. So the documents are okay. So the tires, of course, the condition of the tires has to be checked. The uh, brake wheel indicator, as you guys may have seen on the other air clips videos. It's all the same for all aircraft types. Special one on the 737, it's so low on the ground that I can actually walk up into the wheel well. Hydraulic reservoirs. System A and B are located here, standby system. And we have some fire extinguishers over there. It's a little aluminium bolts. <laughs> so uh, we have actually two extinguishers. We can extinguish one extinguisher in each engine or two in one engine. Of course, it's always important to have a rough overlook of the airplane if everything is in order. It looks flyable. Tail section, it's a stabilizer. Tail bumper on the 7, uh, a Dash 800 series only, or a 900 as well. You have a bumper on the uh, rear section, in case of a tail strike. Door 3L. There's a set of tires. You can see the hydraulic lines coming down here. That's the uh, part of the anti-skid uh, anti system. Yeah, we were from the other side. That's the lock mechanism. It's uh, for the ma main landing gear. When it's uh, retracted, it locks into this position and then we get an indication. The outer part of the wheels, they will stay outside basically. So not outside, but they are flush with the fuselage down here. And these little rubber bands, where they will seal the uh, wheel well. So we continue with the emergency equipment. Fire extinguisher. Then we continue with the flow. We check some overhead systems. The IS is already aligned. We check the, all the lights, which are normally uh, off. And the EC is on. The gear lights, all three illuminated. And then we check the Mach airspeed warning which is a clucker and it will come on if we are too fast as well as a stall system works perfect and this one will come on if we are fly uh, too too slow so as i mentioned before that the uh, so-called blended winglets by boeing so it's uh, for fuel efficiency the original uh, Next generation series had no winglets attached and then uh, after the years they develop these winglets.
So in the meantime, the passengers are boarding, and uh, for me, it's time to uh, fill the uh, ACA system. First of all, we have to say the aircraft where we are. We are at Düsseldorf, and we use our GPS position, which is also displayed at the building, and I see it's the same, so I copy it into the IRS position. A very good thing here with TUI is we have uh, the system connected to the operations server and uh, I don't have to fill in the route all by myself. I just go into uh, the aircraft initialization page and I can say request aircraft initialization and now the system gets all this information from the server. So on the, uh, there you can see the landing lights again, the retractable landing light here. And there's a deflector door. That's the air condition inlet. Still okay, still working. So, and the uh, static ports on this side. So I have done the official part of the outside check already before we started this video. But for you, for Airclips audience, I've did just uh, some specific parts of the aircraft. The system is basically uh, set for the flight. What I do now is I just uh, check um, the departure route. I have already an ATIS printed and Düsseldorf reports rain, as Felix maybe can tell. <laughs> yeah, it's still raining. And, um, it's pouring. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's terrible weather. 15 degrees and nevertheless. And we have runway 23 left in use, so we can put in a runway 23 left. Departure runway 23 left. And we know about the Doden departure, Doden 9 Tango. So for the routing, it says now Doden 9 Tango to Doden, and we check the rest. We'll enter the arrival and uh, as well as the approach later during our flight. So then we continue. We have the speed restrictions in, cruising level looks correct speed restrictions during descent. So now the FMS is set up and uh, Felix will check it uh, again as it's very important for the whole flight. And Felix, if you're ready, pre-flight checklist. Okay, pre-flight checklist. Uh, oxygen. Tested 100%. Okay, test 100%. Navigation and transfer. I tested it for Patrick as well. That's wonderful. Uh, the navigation transfer and display switches, normal, auto. Window heat on, preservation mode selector auto, flight instruments. Heading 163, altimeters QNH 1018. Heading 163, altimeter 1018. Uh, parking brake. Set. And start levels. Cut off. Free flight checklist complete. Perfect. I would suggest we climb to 5000 feet to have a little bit space and uh, we request radar vectors back. Uh, by a barman uh, for runway 23 left. The weather is good enough to uh, approach single engine. Okay. Okay, perfect. So, ground from cockpit. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. We have uh, the parking brake set. You may lift us. We still need a, uh, around two minutes. So it's uh, runway 2-3 left, quick line up via Lima 2, flap 5, acceleration height 1260, the uh, speeds V1132, VR141 one, one, and V2146. One, we have a D-ray 2 takeoff 91.6 with a selected temperature of 30 and the engine out as discussed is 25 miles straight ahead to enter the holding 232 inbound right turns. Stop delivering our Lord 3Jet 552 on stand Charlie 02 information uniform request data. 2Jet 552 delivery hello uniform correct startup approved get Lana card Doden Liner Tango departure on May 23 left flap land root slam via sit 5000 feet 6420 okay the uh, startup is approved fate to Lana curve via the Doden Liner Tango departure via SRD climbing altitude 5000 feet walking 6420 2Jet 552 Contact ground 1 to 1 9 0 5 2 1 to 1 9 Just want to make sure that we are uh, good to pressurize the hydraulic system. Thank you. Good 
was our checklist. Uh, flight deck door closed and locked. Fuel 40,800 kilograms in all pumps on. Passenger signs on windows. Locked. Locked. MCB. V2146 heading 232 altitude 5,000 feet. Take our speeds. V1132, we are 141 and V2146. CDO pre flight? Complete. Got an alien train? 3 and 0. Taxi and take a briefing. Complete. Anti collision light on before start check is complete. Okay, then request pushback. Total around, hello, 2 jet uh, 552 on stand Charlie 02, request pushback. 2 jet 552, push approved, facing off. Pushback approved, facing north, 2 jet 552. Ground from cockpit. Pushback is approved now, facing north. Parking brake is still set. Parking brake released. And during pushback we are ready for engine start, sequence 2 and 1. So uh, engine start is quite simple on a jet aircraft. Um, we just wait for 25% N2 and of course N1. Then we uh, take the start uh, lever to idle. And then we observe uh, in a few seconds that uh, fuel uh, is uh, getting into the engine and as well the uh, engine lights up. Now the EGT temperature rises and uh, it should stay below the red uh, small marking on the EGT display. Uh, start already does today. So uh, engine number one start. So same on the other engine. We have N1 and now we have 25% N2. So check on the watch. Now the light up already is uh, engaging and uh, the EGT is rising. And it looks on this engine quite usual uh, as well. Start kind of. Perfect. Two engines running. Parking brake set. Flaps 5. Flaps 5 confirmed. So, flight controls. Okay, ground, disconnect all equipment, show me the steering pin on the right hand side, thank you very much and uh, yeah, hopefully it will get a little bit better today on the afternoon. Okay, CP is running. Clear sign received. Check the rudder. So, before taxi checklist. Before taxi checklist, uh, generators on, probe heat on, anti ice off, isolation valve auto, the engine start switches continues. Recall. 
Checked. Checked. Auto brake, RTO, engine start levers. Idly tent. Flight controls. Checked. Count equipment. Clear. Clear. Before taxi checks complete. So, left side is clear. Right side is clear. That's a nice pick, isn't it? Departing. Yes. Please fly 737 just, just in front of us. Beautiful. Oh, it's the Max. Uh, it's the Max. Yeah. Yeah. Brand new 737-8. The first one, isn't it? So the cabin is ready before takeoff checklist. Before takeoff checklist, flaps. Five green light. And the uh, stabilizer trim. 6.5 units. Before takeoff, check the plate. Just for the time, I want to check a tag to each at 552, not taxi there, Mike, and ready up and reaching 2-3 left. 552, show and tackle, line up on the 2-3 left. Line up on the 2-3 left, to each at 552. So, Felix, this is runway 2 3 left via Lima 1, and we calculated Lima 2, which is okay. Approach sector seems to be clear. Yeah, there's uh, one no. TCOS. 552, wind 360 degrees, 5 knots, runway 2 3 left, clear for takeoff, and possibly keep it holding, we'll approve. Yeah, we keep it rolling, and clear for takeoff, runway 2 3 left, uh, 2 3 552, okay, nice job. Okay. So we keep it rolling. Yeah. Flaps one. Flaps up. OK, 
Okay, set standard. Standard, flight level 4-1. Standard 4-2. After takeoff checklist. After takeoff checklist. Engine bleeds on X auto. Landing gear up and off. Flaps up no lights. After takeoff checklist. Two jet five five two proceed to Betzo. Welcome Betzo to jet five five two. So Betzo on top. There is Betzo. Happy. Check. Execute. Perfect. Command. Check. So it looks like that we have to wait a little bit for the sun. Yeah. Yeah, we can uh, maybe you uh, use the chime to release the cabin. But, but first of all, engine at is on. in a second. Just leave it like it is. All the way above the cloud. Yeah. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So engine it has off. Very good. <laughs> so it's off. Okay. Engine it has on. <laughs> Engine and yes, off. I love it. Yeah, this is something of the aircraft where you can <laughs> actually you don't have to touch anything. Yeah. It's all automatic. Yeah. You remember the 7 8? Yes, I do. Anyway, this is a good pilot monitoring workout. Okay, Doden on top. Looks good. Execute. Yeah, looks fine. We see the sun at least. <laughs> I'm fine for the moment. So Felix, the outside air temperature is minus 55, so no need to switch on the engine at yours again. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Flight level 370 set. Check. We have speed in a one. Check. CVDLC says uh, proceed direct to Isiga. CVDLC is something like a messenger service, right? SMS, yeah, the uh, controller. <laughs> In a pass, NOC speed. Check. So, Felix, here we are. Level 370 and um, level 390 we uh, expect later. So uh, seatbelts auto. We can switch the uh, Tika system to below. Perfect. And uh, 21.5 is on second set, which is good.
So Swine, you like to fly manually, right? You you brought her up quite quite high manually. Yeah, I noticed. You know the all this uh, COVID-19 lockdown. It's uh, I like to fly, and uh, of course it's for me it's the same passion as for you, and um, it's good to be back in the aircraft again, definitely. So you enjoy? Yeah, really. <laughs> And you know, it's it's something special about flying passengers in to their vacation. So normally the passengers, they have time, they are relaxed. They are looking forward for their vacation and they are happy. And um, yeah, it's a, it's, um, yeah, it's a special, special feeling. And we, we see the sun later on. We will have a short break in uh, 30 degrees sunshine at the ocean. Yeah, unfortunately we have to fly back. Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> I know somebody who will stay. Yeah, of course. Like Sunday. <laughs> I, I know somebody. Pick yeah, him up again. <laughs> yeah. You ordered a taxi back to Düsseldorf. So Lanaka, 220 with 17. And if I'm right, it's on the runway. So it's captain's weather, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what is captain's weather? Yeah, the wind on the runway. The wind you know? on the runway. Yeah, ideal. You yeah. You're getting older on this side. <laughs> you, you need. You get captain's weather. <laughs> That's the first time for me. <laughs> yeah. Have you have you ever been to a Robinson Club yourself? Yes, um, two times actually. Okay. I, I was one time in Kos, and I was uh, one time uh, in the Robinson Resort in Crete, and it was. Um, both time it was a incredible nice holiday um, something for for everybody so the first of all the kids were happy with uh, Robbie club yeah with the Robbie club with <laughs> Robbie uh, disco in the evening um, oh, yeah. something special but even during the day they uh, they went uh, swimming they went sailing they, they have a lot of things to offer there not a holiday where you sit at the beach all the time, look into a book or something. You can, uh, it's, it's a very nice mix of uh, doing things, relaxing and uh, very good food during the day. But uh, this is also the problem in the Robinson <laughs> Resort. <laughs> you, will, you will see because yeah. it's, uh, the food is too good. Happy so far? Me? Yeah. No, happy is no expression. Mm. What what is uh, what is the, the what is five levels above happy? Yeah. Ex super excited. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot for doing this. I know it puts a lot of stress um, and extra workload and everything on 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 you guys. I really can't appreciate that enough. On the ground it was a little bit uh, stressful. Mm. It's busy on the ground and it was on the 7 8. It was uh, um, you, you had more time and uh, a lot of things, uh, it was a little bit uh, less uh, stress on the ground. Yeah. That was my feeling. Yeah, I can imagine. Usually when you fly long haul. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just one takeoff and one landing, yeah. and you have a bit more time uh, doing check-in. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, if if I may, uh, if I may say that, I, I think it's not a it's not a secret that um, the TUI group, as such, um, having multi national air AOCs across Europe mm. um, is operating uh, 787 Dreamliners and some of these AOCs. And obviously, it went through the media that Germany wanted to incorporate uh, tr uh, Dreamliners as well. Yeah. Um, and that was just before COVID, I think, the plan. Yeah. And then came COVID and the rest. I mean, yeah. we all know what happened. And you were telling me already something ab about how things are in the Dreamliner, which you've probably not noticed as a passenger, I guess. So um, <laughs> yeah. you guys were went d uh, looking deeper into the new aircraft that uh, yeah. still is pending now. Yeah, we're both uh, rated on the 7.8, still rated. So um, amazing. Fortunately, yeah, I've never seen the real aircraft. I just did the uh, simulator stuff uh, for the rating, of course. And uh, lucky, lucky boy, mm. you've got the uh, the real aircraft. Yeah, I flew a oh couple, yeah? a couple of flights. Uh, I flew to Barbados and uh, I flew to Jamaica, and uh, yeah, it was interesting. And uh, I would really like to see a seven eight seven in Germany as well. Oh, me too. Definitely, oh man, I can't wait for that. It's <laughs> such a beautiful aircraft, yeah. but I, you know, um, it's not the it's not the size. It's 
it's something we love our 737 because it's um, especially Felix and I we we grow up with flying planes small planes and gliders and uh, right now we are sitting in a in a such such an incredible big air, aircraft um, and this is still we you saw it we can still fly it like uh, like a Cessna and it, it's still the same so the um, the magic of flying is still there on the uh, bigger aircraft it it's it's newer newer systems it's a uh, new philosophy uh, the routes are different and on especially on the 78 it's it's a much more modern aircraft uh, which gives you a, a yeah a different uh, view to the things and um, but anyway uh, after the uh, covid uh, problem and uh, the decision that we uh, stick for the time being with the 737 um, I, I come back and I came back and um, I still like to fly the 737 and I still like the route uh, the routes we fly it uh, to we fly to Corfu we fly to small islands in Greece we fly to the Canary Islands uh, so you see a lot of places and uh, we the most of the times we fly two flights a day so um, the co-pilot and uh, me we do at least one landing a day on the long haul on the long haul flights mm -hmm. it's different so you you do one landing on the way back uh, the colleague will do the landing and it's something different but mm -hmm. uh, I like both of course yeah yeah, I flew, uh, did some of the long haul stuff uh, for the uh, Nazatui airline. And, uh, All right. Which uh, one? I flew the uh, 757, not necessarily on long haul, but uh, on the 767. And uh, we did it for two uh, seasons, winter seasons. Nice. In the UK? Of, or? Uh, yeah, basically, we flew out of Cologne at the end, Cologne Frankfurt. Huh. Some charter for uh, Condor. And uh, that was nice for ah. the whole winter you have some long haul experience yeah so That's you saw right. Barbados and Jamaica as well of course yeah, yeah. Okay. now now <laughs> I don't feel <laughs> now I don't feel guilty anymore that I'm the one getting <laughs> off for a good time <laughs> in Cyprus yeah. you, you had the good spots for sure okay. I flew for the uh, let's say British TUI yep. or TUI fly mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, out of uh, London Gatwick and uh, as I mentioned before 757 since I love the 757 it's especially the Dash 200 so from the pilot's uh, point of view it's lot of thrust and uh, two axes for braking and, uh, it's for me Vienna is calling <laughs> Vienna is calling <laughs> so everybody's laughing so <laughs> we are we, we are getting old you know <laughs> <laughs> exactly when you can laugh about that then, then yeah. you have a certain age yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Felix they um, they said it's hard it's hard to land a 757 no it isn't <laughs> Honestly, yeah. on my opinion, 737 uh, next generation, uh, especially the Dash uh, 800, is uh, the most difficult airplane to land. You, you want to give Sven credit <laughs> for whatever <laughs> gonna come in Lanaka? <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> As I mentioned, the 757 is probably part of the dream. It's, uh, okay, it's a bit smelly. <laughs> <laughs> depends, <laughs> depends on the operator, maybe. Yeah, no, it but depends <laughs> on the engine. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's actually the engine. It smells a bit. It's a Rolls Royce engine, but uh, lots of thrust. What I really like, and I'm sure that uh, a number of you guys are asking yourself, okay, what the heck is that? Uh, you have these the rotating wheels. The rotating wheels. Yeah. Um, could you give a short explanation on that one, maybe? Because I think it's particular, isn't it? Felix, if you like, <laughs> <laughs> if you like. feel free. In, invent, invent the wheel for us. Yeah, the wheel, the elevator. Trip. I didn't <laughs> saw them so. before. <laughs> you didn't saw them before. You just. <laughs> 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 no, it's, it's, uh, every time we use the uh, elevator trim, mm -hmm. which is usually done by the ma so-called main electrical trim by the um, control column uh, switches here mm -hmm. and uh, on the left-hand side, on the uh, captain side, and uh, then you can uh, see the. Uh, wheel is turning and uh, the option is if everything fails you can actually use these wheels to trim the aircraft you, okay that was basic i think this was my main question i guess because this i didn't imagine i thought it was only for the for the look and feel of it little uh, handles in here and uh, then you can really trim your aircraft have you ever done that no 
the similar idea. We train really? in the similar really? idea, of course. Yeah. Um, one of the good things with TUI is um, we have um, we have airplanes uh, or the TUI company um, had have uh, different uh, companies around Europe as well as in Canada. Oh, and so. Um, I got the chance to spend two winters in Canada flying for Sunwing, which is the local company for TUI in Canada. And uh, I stayed uh, two times for nearly six months in Montreal. And nice. it, it was one of the best times in my life. Yeah, really. I, I like the Canadians. They are so nice people and um, yeah, they are relaxed. And uh, flying out of Montreal was a new experience. So you flew over the United States towards all destinations in the Caribbean, uh, a lot of times to Cuba um, and uh, Jamaica as well and uh, Punta Cana and also to Mexico on the other side. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome as well out of the flight deck, your captain speaking. My name is Sven Hammerstein and uh, I also would like to welcome you on behalf of my colleague, Mr. Felix Riemann. So we left uh, Düsseldorf and uh, we passed through the clouds and we were happy to see the sun thereafter. Right now, uh, we are flying in an altitude of 11,300 meters, which is a pretty smooth flight level. And we just uh, in the southeasterly part of Austria. We're now flying towards Belgrade. And after Belgrade, we'll uh, fly via Sofia towards uh, Turkey already. Later on, we pass a little bit uh, east of uh, Izmir. Then we uh, proceed towards Antalya and from Antalya is just a short hop over the Mediterranean Sea towards Cyprus. So we expect a landing at uh, 7 o'clock uh, local time uh, in Cyprus this evening. And uh, the weather is uh, getting better and better as uh, our flight progresses to the south. Later on at uh, Cyprus we expect a clear sky and a wonderful temperature of 33 degrees centigrade. And uh, Felix and me, we also hope for a nice uh, sunset this evening uh, during our landing. So I do hope you feel comfortable on board and um, later on as the sky clears, we, uh, if we see something interesting for you, we'll call you and we'll give you a hint. So for the moment, thank you very much for your attention. Before your first job, how did you start your career? Oh well, um, started basically at the age of 13. Uh, mm -hmm. Really? No. Yeah, <laughs> special permission by the authority um, to start with gliding. Well, wow. Of course, and then I did yeah. my first uh, solo on a glider uh, with the age of 14. Wow. Where did you do it? Uh, well, it <laughs> it's a bit between Hanover and Braunschweig. <laughs> yeah, I'm familiar with so it. So yeah, it's it's called Pine. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's not existing anymore today, isn't it? I, I don't know. I think Pine they closed it. Yeah. Yeah, Pine. Yeah. yeah Pine. <laughs> there's no Pine. It's like there's no Bielefeld, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. And then I moved to uh, to uh, the near of uh, Hildesheim, mm -hmm. and then uh, Bad Salzlitford. Yeah, and there's a very very nice glider field there, yeah. and uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, I, grew well. uh, I grew up basically <laughs> the glider club, yeah. and uh, cool. of course I did my upgrade to the uh, power glider, mm -hmm. and uh, of course the uh, single engine piston mm -hmm. airplanes. I think your uh, history is very very similar, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it so is. So <laughs> how old? I was actually I was 14 when I started. Um, maybe it was 13. Uh, as yeah. At the end of 13, beginning of 14, I started uh, to uh, build model planes, um, mm -hmm. as a lot of uh, colleagues as well. And uh, I met one of my best friends there on the on the model airfield, and uh, he's still my friend today. And uh, RC models, yeah. We um, <laughs> we did a lot of things together. 
So um, after a few months flying model airplanes, we decided uh, it's a good idea to uh, fly for ourselves as well. So I, um, yeah, we started in, in uh, our gliding club in uh, Paderborn. Was it already Huxterberg? Yeah, it was Huxterberg. Wow. Nice. Uh, yeah. it, it's a magic place. I went there every weekend with the bicycle and later on <laughs> in the week as well. So uh, same w as you did. Um, after my um, my glider license, I um, did my motor glider license and as well my um, my SEP, my uh, single engine uh, license. And then I started uh, in a um, parachute uh, jumper club. Oh yes, I did the same. And yeah, and yes. I flew, uh, <laughs> flew quite a lot of uh, hours on a Cessna 180. And it was... Uh, 180, isn't that the uh, tail dragger? Yeah. Wow. It was uh, a yeah. uh, tail dragger with 235 horsepower and it was also a special aircraft. Uh, not easy to fly, but it's, it's yeah. a good uh, learning plane. As it was not easy in aviation at that uh, time when I, um, uh, when I finished uh, school, uh, so I decided to start uh, um, at the university initially. Oh, okay. But... Um, I I always thought about flying, and uh, it was it was more than a it was a passion, uh, and so I decided to to, uh, to look for options, and at that point, um, I had a little bit of luck because uh, Lufthansa just uh, called me back because I, I applied for them uh, uh, after my school. And uh, they called me and said, uh, now they start again with the education and the, uh, the pilot uh, license uh, again in Bremen. So, um, yeah, I started uh, then in, I started in Bremen. Yeah, this was a nice time. And then I started um, uh, at Lufthansa City Line. I flew uh, for um, three years for Lufthansa City Line. Which, which type of aircraft was it? Uh, it was an Avro RJ. Wow. It's a BA-146, okay. uh, the um, Jumbolino. Uh, yeah. The Jumbolino. <laughs> they call it Jumbolino. The, uh, yeah. the plane with the four engines and uh, or other ones uh, as A4 APUs, but it was it was a nice aircraft. And after three years, I decided to 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 do something different to you know to get a little bit uh, experience in another company. And uh, one of my uh, friends in uh, my glider club in uh, Paderborn. Uh, he flew for Hapag Lloyd and um, yeah, he told me, hey, uh, Sven, it's a good idea, <laughs> come to us, it's, it's a very uh, nice uh, company and uh, so I applied for Hapag Lloyd and um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> luckily, which is now to fly. yeah, it worked and yeah. uh, so I'm now um, working for Hapag Lloyd, which is now to fly for 23 years now and I'm still happy I'm still flying gliders you uh, you can hear that and uh, I still like it as well um, and a lot of guys in my glider club uh, the young uh, guys and as well the ladies they ask me hey um, what do you think can we still um, is it still good to do the education to to become a pilot and uh, yeah the times changing so the business is getting harder the um, the working times getting harder still it's a good job and um, if it's your passion you have to do it and if you ask me i would do it again even today the aircraft was very interesting i mean it's, it's no pressure <laughs> the, yeah no Kevin. pressure no autopilot yeah okay so it so was mm. always night flying mm. cargo operation mm. of course out of paris Charles de Gaulle. Mm. and uh but it was for Rookie pilot, <laughs> it's probably the best thing you can do. I think so. To yeah. learn yeah. IFR flying yeah, yeah. without an autopilot. And of course, the old captains, they always say, oh, well, it's your, your, your turn to fly for pilot flying. You do it. Especially <laughs> during <laughs> bad weather conditions. Mm. It uh, was, uh, was very, very good uh, for my experience at the end. Mm. Uh, and uh, then I joined um, the regional airline, ATR 4272, which is uh, a little Airbus, basically, you used to say. Uh, yeah. ATR was uh, built in the garage of, uh, of Airbus, mm. <laughs> so it's uh, it's a very nice aircraft. And it's still flying. It's very economic. And mm. uh, then uh, yeah, I uh, joined another company. Was the 737 operation? Was in uh, 2000. 
three. This was a Berlin? Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, and luckily, I always applied at uh, Upper Lloyd, now to fly. Mm -hmm. And I uh, was very lucky that I got the contract in 2005. All right, guys, now that the two gentlemen up front are busy flying the aircraft and telling their stories, I had the great pleasure of enjoying a fantastic meal service here in the comfort seat up front, super nice. And um, also I'm very privileged to get five minutes of the CDC's time. Tina, thank you very much for having us here. You're welcome. Thank nice you. to meet you. Thank you. So, uh, Tina, you are... Um, CDC, what does that mean? Chef de cabine? Yeah, it's chef de cabine. It's, uh, I have to supervise the other girls and boys who are working in the airplane. I have to organize, organize everything and uh, take care of the money, of the health of the other people and uh, supervise everything. Okay, so like in other companies it's called PERSA? It's a PERSA. It's a, it's, it's in, in our company it's called SCCM, CDC. And other companies, it's the person. Okay, uh, may I ask you when? When did you join? I don't know, Tui Fly or maybe Hapagloid flew oh, back then. I'm uh, quite long in this company. I joined at the end of the 80s, which is a long time wow. ago. Long, long time. It was called Hapagloid at that time. I was a student. I was studying history, and I needed a job for holidays. Ah, okay. So, and I started. Uh, I applied for a job here. With Hapagloid, and then I thought, oh, that's great. That's even better than the, the studies. Sorry. And uh, I started uh, working here, and I'm still here. I all wanted it only to do it for two years, but that's now a long, long time ago. And uh, I still like it very much. That's I like amazing. working with all the different people, different ages. I saw so many countries. During my time here, uh, I met a lot of people, uh, very, very nice people, and uh, it's a really interesting, sometimes exhausting job, because we have to work at night, long shifts, um, we have to get up very early, sometimes three o'clock in the morning, we have to work until midnight, or like tonight, we finish at uh, 11 p.m., which is also late, and back to the hotel, and it does, does a while until I can sleep. Uh, tomorrow another flight to another destination, so it's quite challenging. Now it's a little bit bumpy here, <laughs> yeah. in the rear of this uh, plane. <laughs> That's also quite challenging sometimes, you have to work in uh, conditions like this. Yeah. <laughs> Some people get seasick, which is not so easy. Yeah. 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 Luckily I'm not right now. So but yeah, it's particularly in the with a tail on top of us in the rear galley here. Here we get the full impact of uh, of this. Yeah? And in the tail it's always more bouncing than in the front. Yeah. So So okay. if you are afraid, sit in the front. <laughs> yeah. That's why I became person very early in my yeah so you can sit up front yeah because i always wanted to be a person i wanted okay. to tell the other people what they have to do <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yes and and it's not so bouncing yeah nice yeah and it's different than going into the office where you work with a every day with the same uh, friend or colleague i work every day with other people yeah and the specialty of this company is we are all very friendly with each other like the our captain today, Sven, I really like him very much. He is, yeah, a, so he is a really nice guy. Felix, I, I went with Felix on the long range. We went to Cancun at that flight. My daughter was with us. So, uh, yeah, it's nice. That's yeah. uh, um, something else I like very much, that we are sitting in this little aluminium foil here. And uh, we are between earth and sky, or in the sky. That's still uh, amazing when nice. I'm on the ground and I'm walking on the ground on the earth and I see a plane I think that's really amazing that we work in a space place like this
you mentioned that you haven't done the uh, max training yet. Yeah, not yet. I will do it in October. The in October, okay, mm -hmm. nice. It's a very, very nice airplane. Yeah, that's because uh, Hanover is getting. Uh, I'm based in Hanover, and uh, Hanover is getting one of the uh, max yep. in uh, in October, as you you know it. I <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so um, the training for the uh, Hanover base pilots will start now. Fantastic! You will love it. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's a very very nice aircraft. And I think it's one of the safest airplanes now because they look for every Definitely. snack <laughs> three Definitely. times now. Yeah. Mm. One thing it, uh, what I realized even on my first flight on the Max is the fuel consumption. So you may see here, we have... Uh, well, now we have like 2.7 tons together. So each engine has a fuel flow of 1.3 tons. And uh, on the Max, occasionally, we had just a two digger. Really? Point. So it's 0 0.9998. Mm. It's fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, we reached Turkey already and uh, we just uh, passed uh, the um, Marmara Meer, the uh, westerly part of it, and we are now heading towards Antalya. After Antalya, uh, it's just a short hop over to Cyprus and we expect a landing at uh, five minutes past seven o'clock local time at Cyprus. So I wish you further on a very pleasant stay on board. Clear. Are you also looking forward to spending the evening at the beach? Ah, ah yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. I forgot something. <laughs> Not <laughs> a good trick. Good trick. trick. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. you want really to fly those bags? Still risking my return flight, you know, right? Yeah, <laughs> there, there could be a chance. It probably, you know, its maximum capacity is 189, and uh, uh, the drum seat is broken. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or Imagine that. Weight restriction. Or something. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Your nose heavy. Didn't say anything. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, the the biggest problem is the uh, 737 is a quite a reliable airplane. Uh, <laughs> yeah. A lot of times we hope for something that we have to stay like two, three days to get it repaired. <laughs> but uh, no, it's it's working like a like a like a beetle, <laughs> like a VW Beetle all the time. <laughs> okay, goes and goes yeah. and goes. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I mean, uh, one question that, that I've been really asking myself. Now, mm -hmm. obviously, um, airplanes and special liveries, that's something probably for F-geeks. Um, they mm -hmm. drive, you know, drives them, drives us crazy, mm -hmm. sleepless nights and so on. And, of course, it has quite a promotional value. This is why we see them. Mm -hmm. But uh, y you have a couple of logo jets in, in TUI Fly, mm -hmm. and you have the, I don't know, privilege, if you will, of, of flying them once in a while. Mm -hmm. Honest answer, even if it's devastating for us fans, for you, does it make any difference or is it a <laughs> little bit of perceived fun to have a logo <laughs> jet or something <laughs> just you say answer that yeah <laughs> I, I just can take i mean the cockpit is always the same as yeah it? so yeah. uh <laughs> occasionally you can see when you when you look down the nose you can see uh, okay that's it's a, it's a, a new <laughs> paint scheme but <laughs> um yes of course when you do the outside check it always looks nice yeah yeah and uh but uh from the part of flying let's say or from the cockpit part it's it's, it's always the same sure oh, yeah you're you right mean? you're absolutely right felix uh but on the other side it's it's something special you know we had a quite uh of unusual liveries as well we had a a, a plane that looks like a german ice a, a train right and um, one. oh yeah ICE and the regional one. As yes, well, huh? yes, and I like the the Robinson scheme. I, I like it because it, it's very nice, the blue, and um, we have uh, some others, and they are all special. And you, s you know, you still it's the same plane, of course, but you you taxi to the runway and you see all the spotters, all the people looking for the plane, the kids. It's aviation is still something special. People people are interested they look and especially if you have a, a special aircraft with a special livery they look twice sure and I mean we had a gate position today so um, um, and I, I guess mm -hmm. that probably 90% of the passenger load today goes mm -hmm. straight into the Robinson Resort mm -hmm. and that must must give a nice you know of course. feeling for those travelers as well yeah of course picked up by the resort yeah. from home basically yeah, yeah. How many are there? <laughs> uh, I mean we have a couple of uh, runs and clubs in, um, in Turkey. I think yeah. three total. I can remember. Could be, yeah. We have at mm -hmm. least two on uh, Fort Ventura, one in Cyprus. 
one in Egypt. Or Greece, Ghana. a lot of clubs in Greece. Yes, and um, so even though we we have Cyprus, we have you were in uh, Fuerteventura, mm -hmm. and me in in Greece in two clubs. So uh, for me, it would be interesting to see how Patrick is uh, doing <laughs> the next week in uh, in Cyprus in the Robinson Club. Maybe. We see later on. Yeah, yeah, I will be happy to show you that yeah, for sure. Hopefully, hopefully. Tell you would be uh, interesting. Actually, guys, just for you as a back background, um, we really wanted to give you the full package here of a lovely cockpit movie, uh, watching the f the way down now and also the way back. And um, I think Tui um, Fly did one of the the very best preparations of these missions that I've ever experienced. Just amazing. And what's ap actually going to happen is that you two are going to pick yep. me up again next next week, right? Yep. We see you next uh, next week, and same that's time, same place. It's awesome, and and also particularly this aircraft has been put in service here just for our filming, which is uh, absolutely unbelievable mm -hmm. still for me. And um, the only reason why I really have to stay for a week <laughs> in the resort is that <laughs> right now just fly in, no once in, a week. The, in the off season <laughs> it's just <laughs> served once a week. Yeah. But you know that that is a the good point that you said um, that we can make it happen and this is something which is uh, basically um, <laughs> yeah with TUI we, we have the, um, the the lucky point is that TUI uh, has its own airlines and um, so they have the opportunity to do s things like this or um, in the past we did uh, with this um, um, with this vulcan uh, eruption on uh, on Iceland, uh, we pick up all the people. So Tui is, uh, has the uh, the chance to use their own aircraft to get the people back if something oh happens. Yeah, so yeah. we are quite flexible. Um, that is something different to other uh, tour operators. Um, if you if you have to rent a plane always on the market, it's it's much Good more complicated. Point than uh, using your own airplane and uh, flying the people uh, out of places or even to places where you want them and um, yeah true and also in the pandemic I'm sure that there was a time you know when all this as well thing started as well. and it helps a lot you have your own capacity yeah, yeah we heard a lot of things in the in the news about um, Lufthansa bringing people back all over the world but nobody mentioned TUI because we just did it. It's you a know? closed circle. Yeah, yeah you it's you a closed circle. Brought and brought home your we people. brought all our passengers back. So yeah. nobody uh, said something in the news because it, it, it's normal. Yeah. We don't talk about it. We do it. Just kept doing it. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. You fly with a lot of airlines. Um, is it sometimes uh, strange? Or if you fly with a, with a very old airplane or with a... I don't know. No, it's very interesting. I mean, it's, it's so nice to see all the different cultures, but it's always the same enthusiasm in the people. Mm. Yeah, no matter if you're going to Germany, North Korea, United States, wherever, it's, it's the same people with this, you know, fascination and the same genetics for it aviation. It makes aviation special. Yeah, yeah. very much. Yeah. yeah, it's very nice. When I was in Canada, we flew with a lot of different people, with the Canadian uh, co-pilots, with uh, even with Belgium co-pilots, English co-pilots, and um, Czech uh, co-pilots. And as you said, it was uh, it w it was no problem at all because everybody has the same the same thinking and uh, yeah. yeah enthusiasm, love That's for true. aviation, basically. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that makes it so nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. the German core of the airline originates from the traditional Hapagloid yes. fluke, right? Mm -hmm. exactly. uh, that's the that's the vacation airline of my childhood here, guys. That's yeah, uh, really? Yeah, that's my... It's really it's something special for me. Mm -hmm. I used to 727-100 when I was a yeah, little kid. Yeah, uh, true. A310. A300 before mm -hmm. I flew several times on Hapagloid mm -hmm. fluke. That was... Um, I have to see if I can dig out a few old photos mm -hmm. and show them here. Yeah, it's really my and A three ten a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I still have a lot of photos as well. Yeah, was as well a nice time. There's still a special feeling about Hapag Lloyd. It's. It was a it was a, a small company which was all about the employees and uh, everybody loved to work for Hapag Lloyd. So. Uh, it's something where everybody smiles if you you say hey Harvard Lloyd 
former Hapag Lloyd. Yeah. But then the internet grows <laughs> and Hapag Lloyd is quite difficult to yeah. write. You have to type a couple of letters. Yeah, so, <laughs> so uh, today with TUI we have one brand which is everybody knows all over the world. It's easy to to write, it's easy to, to find in the internet and so it, it has some advantages advantages as well. Yeah. But you know the heart is still Hapag Lloyd. <laughs> and, and you know, you you saying that I'm probably in the position that I can I mean I can talk whatever I want anyway and I think people like me who grew up with the brand yeah. um, in their youth uh, yeah. childhood I need a Hapag Lloyd Fluke logo jet on Tui <laughs> Fly. I have to say, wouldn't that be awesome, guys? Yeah, we had we had to actually. Yeah. Yeah, but that was not. I mean, this was this exclusive thing, and it mm -hmm. was not exactly. I mean, you know, yeah, the yeah, real know. the mm -hmm. real deal mm -hmm. thing, and uh, the real. Just imagine mm -hmm. a 737 800 in the paint scheme the yeah. 400s had or back even then. a Max. Yeah. Oh man! Yeah, 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 yeah even a Max. Okay, yeah, I will ask for descent, okay? Reset yeah, go ahead. Right. Uh, 3 jet 552, request descent. 3 jet 552, uh, descent to flight level 130. Descent to flight level 130, 3 jet 552. Flight level 130 set. Check, Wiener Pass at later. Check. So, and 25 minutes for the cabin. That's 30 minutes now. <laughs> so, descent checklist. Descent checklist. Preservation, landing altitude, t uh, zero feet. Uh, Rico. Checked. Checked. Auto brake, three. Landing data. V ref flaps 30, 140, minimums 220. We have 3140, minimum sparrow 220 feet. And approach briefing. Completed. Descent checklist completed. Thank you. So, I will give the passengers a short update. Ladies and gentlemen, about uh, 20 minutes to Lanaka. The actual weather is, uh, as promised, very nice. We nearly have no clouds. Temperature for the moment 31 degrees centigrade and we have a slight wind coming into the bay of Lanaka from the southwest. So, I wish you further on a very pleasant stay on board. Traffic uh, just looks like on the ground. Yeah. It says 5,300 feet climbing below us. It's basically below the ground, isn't it? <laughs> so it's still daylight, and um, I think number one is our colleagues must be nearly on the ground. You can ask for a visual approach. Okay. Too late. One seven fifty level off. Check. Now to jet five five two, we have the field inside. Would appreciate a visual approach. We are just over at the or coming up over at the airport. We have the field inside. Yeah, fair. To jet five five two, clear visual approach. Enjoy left downwind. I was returning to the circuit altitude report five. So we take a quicker altitude to look at the jet five five two clear visual approach. Manual flight, flight manual director. thrust. Check. So, flaps one. Mm -hmm. Can set the uh, traffic pattern altitude. Yeah. Which is uh, sixteen hundred. Sixteen hundred. Yeah. yeah. Set to be enough fast now. I switch off the uh, flight track on my side as well. Yeah. yeah. So we go at least to three miles final to be established. 
Yep. Flaps five. Then the approach checklist. Go ahead. Altimeters. QNH 1005. 1005. Approach checklist. Okay. okay. Downward heading, please. Uh, 040. That's it. Easy. So I switched to the ILS on my side, yeah? Yes. Wind from the northwest. Check. So we go in via Elec uh, four nine, uh, which is four point uh, nine miles. It should work for the visual as well. There's the uh, obstacle in the ocean. Oh yeah. So, turning final. Yeah, to reach at 552, turning base now, runway 22, visual approach. Visual 552, uh, continue approach. Continue approach to reach at 552. So, runway heading please. Um, Pushing 2,000 feet. Lovely. Watching the traffic meter altitude. Uh, Check. You happy with the gear? Yeah. Just uh, coming on base like now. So gear down. Flaps 15. Five five two round one two two clear to land wind two thirty zero degrees one two nine. Clear to land round two 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 jet five five. Flaps thirty. And set missed approach altitude two thousand. Two thousand set. Check. The landing checklist. Stand by. Landing checklist. And the start switches. Continuous. Speed brake. Armed. Landing gear. Is down. Flaps. 30 green light. Lane checks completed. Okay, to uh, delete the minimums. Yes. Visual. One thousand stable. Check. One thousand. So plus eight so should be the speed, so we make it one four eight. Five hundred. Check. Five hundred. Okay. Four hundred. Three hundred. Two 
100. Sound. Check. 60 knots. So just 552, connect ground 119 at decimal 4. Yes. Alright, decimal 4 to reach at uh, 552. Manuka, ground hello to reach at uh, 552 in echo. This is 552 on ground, good evening, taxi Charlie, Victor, Lima, Alpha, stand 1, 2, Bravo. Uh, well, Charlie, Victor Lima, Alpha, stand uh, one two Bravo, two jet uh, five five two. That's next to our colleagues. Yep. Another airplane with a special livery. All oh, clear on the right. Bravo, I think uh, the uh, our colleagues are on one two alpha, aren't they? And then we have one two bravo. Could be on. No, ask him again. Looks you unsure? Like, yeah, looks like that it's one two bravo. Uh, ground two jet five five two just confirm the uh, stand number is one two bravo. So Patrick, here we are. That was awesome. Thank you so much. It was well really awesome. Thank yeah, you. Thank you for joining us. Well, it was really, really. So, I think about switching with you, but. <laughs> <laughs> one has to do it. Yeah, uh, one has to do it, of <laughs> course. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. I wish you're switching aircraft now, so I wish you a nice trip back home on this beautiful Red CV Fotobuch aircraft. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, thank you so much for this huge effort to both of you. Fantastic approach, by the way. Super nice to watch. Thank you. And um, okay, for you guys, it will be like five minutes. A deep look. We'll be meeting Walter, the boss of the club, in a second and have a look at what is Robinson Club Resort really all about. But in five minutes you will already see Felix and Sven again for the return flight. And for me it's a bit longer, but I'm looking forward to that. Stay tuned. The same film here. It all continues. Second flight for you in a moment. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you, Patrick. Enjoy the day or the five minutes in the club. <laughs> we'll see you on the way back. <laughs> Thank you very much. See you then. Bye-bye. Yeah. 
So here we are guys, I have now arrived to the Robinson Club Resort in Lanaka. It is so awesome to be back, frankly, really, really nice. Uh, it's been pretty late that I arrived. Now I just had a quick glimpse at my absolutely lovely room. It's uh, pretty much a totally new resort here. So this is why the rooms are in absolutely mint condition. Very, very nice. So for now, I need a rest after all this work. And tomorrow I'm looking forward to meet Walter and also to explore a little bit again the club that I already fell in love with. All right, guys, I hope you have enjoyed the landing. And as you can see now here, particularly in the backdrop, I have arrived to paradise. How cool is that? And uh, I would love to introduce to you our very kind host, the boss of the club, Walter. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, nice to welcome you here on the lovely island of Cyprus, in the Robinson Cyprus, uh, the new jewel in the family of Robinson Clubs. And I'm very happy to have you here for this uh, nice interview and for some couple of B days you even stay here to for now on holiday. Yeah, exactly. It's a forced holiday. Yeah. So um, unfortunately, I have to wait for the return flight a bit longer. I'm suffering through that. <laughs> no, really enjoy it. Thank well, you. We are forcing him to stay in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the lucky one here. And of course, I don't want to miss my chance just to really get a bit of an understanding of we've, we've seen this uh, Robinson aircraft all the way. And already in the beginning, I told the folks that um, I got to know your club and this is where the whole idea was born. And what I would really like to find out directly from the source now, what is the philosophy of the club? Because my blueprint of like um, a full board uh, resort um, was something different than what I experienced here. This is really high class. Um, Thank you very much that you name it high class because this is what really what we want to provide to our guests. We have to start a bit in the past. Already uh, 50 years ago, Robinson was born on the lovely island of Fort Ventura, and uh, the club concept is, uh, is something unique in the, in the hotel business at all. Uh, we are combining two different things. First of all, we are offering a high quality hotel standard, as you know from many hotels on the world. This is one of our part, but on top, we are giving the guests a special um, hostmanship or hospitality which they would not expect or which uh, they would not receive somewhere else. For example, uh, in the, the major part is entertainment, animation, and these parts we are offering, for example, well, have in my team, for example, 40 people only working in the kids and the um, adults and entertainment and animation. And this is uh, already something and we are very close to our guests, we are eating, we are sitting together, we are joining the same table with them. We are in the morning, we are in the offices, in the afternoon we are cooking for them, so in the night time we are entertaining. So it's, it's an all-in-one, um, very familiar concept. We are respecting the guests, we are offering sport activities, a lot, huge, uh, with a high professional equipment, but we are not forcing um, the guests or pushing them uh, to, to join. So it's, it's on their own wish to come. Yeah, yeah very I think important. That yeah. describes it nicely. This, relax, this is a relaxation of the whole atmosphere. Yeah, yeah the atmosphere is, is really, really relaxed, in fact, yeah. And, and now, you know, we've seen the, um, the, your ambassador with wings, uh, if I want to say it like that. Um, my understanding was that the brand Robinson had a uh, German background coming from originally probably from the TUI group, uh, German yes. based. But now the TUI group is, is at least pan-European, if not a global brand. I noticed international um, travelers here, definitely. The, target, the, is, the target is to find all over the world uh, guests or, or people who, uh, who want to enjoy this kind of uh, concept, yeah. mm -hmm. which is unique. Yep. Yes, and it, it is enjoyable, oh, yeah. <laughs> I have to say. And in that sense, actually, I'm going to use the rest of my time here to have a closer look at the facilities, uh, share a little bit with you guys before our two hosts on the flight deck, Sven and Felix, are going to pick us up again from here. So, But at, at least at the end of it, I have to ask you, what, what is your special impression uh, what what is the most um, memorable memorable thing what you have enjoyed already here um the uh, thank you very much actually for asking it's um i guess the the high class and the enjoyable relaxed atmosphere at the same time i, th I would say the food no other other sequence the people and the food 
I think that's, I mean, the, the rooms are new, it's mint, it's, it's like a totally new facility, I think under the Robinson brand you just opened up this year, right? Yeah. So it, it's totally new, but really what, what stays in mind is this stark haute cuisine that you enjoy every day here and the people which uh, you seem to have a good hand selecting them, I believe. So that's very nice and it's really this, I, I, never, I never went to a, um, to a resort, to a club myself, you know, I'm more the type of guy. Um, have your machete between your teeth and go somewhere <laughs> okay. through the jungle. Yeah, but um, it was the first time, and it, it totally blew away my um, stereotype of it um, in a very nice way. Nice to hear. That's nice to hear. So. Yeah, it's it's truly that, and this is how this idea was born to really look at the aircraft, look at the entire idea, and I would like to thank you very much for supporting that, Walter. Always welcome. Thank Super you nice. very much, and hope to see you soon again. Thanks a lot, guys. In a few moments, you will be able to enjoy the return flight. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs> After this interesting short interview with Walter here, obviously I got another six days to spend in this wonderful location here uh, before Sven and Felix take me back on the return flight to Düsseldorf. For you, it's gonna be just a very, very short summary. For me, obviously, it's a long suffering uh, through this time here. But for you, I just prepare a few nice pictures from the club here that I'm able to take off the recreational areas of the entertainment program. And even we've been able to witness a real highlight, um, which is the uh, sea turtles, uh, basically the birth of a couple of sea turtles here making their way at night into the sea. So it's really also a great nature. You can spot turtles uh, a little bit further are swimming out from where I am right now. Now here in the backdrop you can already see uh, basically the entire club from uh, the water. Uh, it gets even better when you depart from Cyprus airport and you see it from up there. It's a fantastic view over the entire area here. Now come on with me one more rough minute of great footage to enjoy before we board our return flight. And actually, I can already tell you that the aircraft that we are getting for our return flight is something really special for us as well. Some beautiful eye candy. This is exactly what we like, right? Now, enjoy the show. Meanwhile, I'm having a swim.
Hi everyone, welcome back. So this is our plane for the return flight. One with the uh, special livery again. It's the uh, CW Fotobuch special livery. One of our airplanes. The, the uh, Mike Victor. And uh, what we're doing now, we are pretty tight on schedule. That's the reason why we have to hurry up a bit. So let's go, let's go flying. Hey guys, welcome back on the real sunny side. Um, you can see where we are. I'm super happy to be back with uh, Sven and Felix. Thanks for having us back again tonight. Of course. <laughs> nice to see you again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Felix and I, we thought you, <laughs> you would stay here. <laughs> Prefer to stay. It was an option I was considering, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> so we heard you had a hard time, mm. but now Let's do the real <laughs> stuff again. Absolutely. Super happy that you could make it again to pick me up. Thanks a lot. Of course. Very, very busy here. There was a crew change now, short turnaround, had to fit the cameras, everything. Zero time left. So welcome back aboard. Thanks for having us. And I, I shut up now. Nice to have you here. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you very much. So, Felix. Okay. Pre flight ready? checklist. Pre flight checklist. Whenever you are ready. Pre flight. Oxygen. Tested 100%. Tested 100%. Navigation, transfer and display switches. Normal outer. Window heat on. Pressurization mode selector. Outer. Flight instruments. Heading 221. Altimeters uh, 1007. Heading 221. Altimeter 1007. Parking brake. Set. And to start levels. Cut off. Pre-flight check is complete. Thanks. 107 passengers. That's good. Perfect. One sec. <coughs> Thank you very much for the good handling. Hope to see you next time. Thank you. Well, no ground. Hello to each at uh, five five uh, three on stand one two. Bravo information. Charlie, request clearance. To get five five three, clear to destination. A conduct and Delta Lima via Paphos one way skin departure runway two two. After Paphos, flight plan route, climb flight level 200, scope 7215. We'll ask for the uh, to Bravo departure yes. here. Uh, 2 j 553 requesting the uh, Paphos to Bravo departure, please. Paphos to Bravo is approved. Okay, clear to uh, destination Echo Delta Delta Lima, Paphos to Bravo departure out of runway 22. Initial climb flight level 200 and squawking 7215. 2 j 553 2 j 553 clear and correct. QNH 1007. Okay, 1006 now, 2 jet uh, 553. 1007. Okay, cockpit. Ground from cockpit. Go ahead. Just want to make sure that we are good to pressurize the hydraulic system. Yes, uh, clear to pressurize. Thank you. So we call you in a minute uh, for the pushback. The oh. parking brake is set. You may lift us. Thank you, sir. I just lifted up now. Thank you. Before start okay. checklist. Before start checklist, uh, flight deck door closed and locked, fuel 12,800 kilograms, all pumps on, passenger signs on, windows locked, locked, MCP, V2151 heading 220, altitude flight level 200. Take off speeds, V1148, VR148 and V2151. CDU pre-flight completed. Rudder and ailer trim. Free and zero. Taxi and takeoff briefing completed. Anti collision light on. CB4 start checklist complete. Perfect. So request pushback. A ground to your jet 553, stand 1 to Bravo, request pushback. To your 553, push and start is approved to release to Lima Alpha 1. Push and start approved to release on Lima Alpha 1 to your jet 553. Ground from cockpit. Ready for pushback and uh, to Lima Alpha 1. Thank you, sir. Brake release, please. Brakes released. Thanks, Captain. Uh, commencing push. Uh, call you back for the engines. Roger. And we'll start uh, in sequence engine two and engine one. We wait for your signal. Sure, Captain. Thank you. Stand by.
I like the flag in the front. Yeah. So you see there's someone below you. It's kind of damage, isn't it? So now he pulls us forward to uh, release point Lima Alpha 1. Okay, flight deck uh, clear for engine number two. Thank you. Start number two engine. Okay, flight deck pushback is complete. Brakes set, please. Brakes set. Thank you. Start a cut out. Start engine number two. One. Uh, engine one, you mean, oh. sir? <laughs> Sorry, engine one, of course. Yes, clear one. Um, I hear a strange noise. Maybe you. Yeah, something wrong over there. Start a cutout. So ground, prepare the airplane for taxi. Hand signal from the right hand side. Thank you very much and have a nice evening. You too, sir. You're welcome. See you on the right with the pin. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. He's calling us. We are in Lima Alpha 1. Uh, we are at Lima Alpha 1 now, uh, 2253. Flaps 1. Plus one confirmed. Now is the transmission like control alert here? Uh, Sven, can you press recall, please? Okay. Okay, can you give him a clear sign? Yep, will do. Perfect. Rudder. Okay, before. There you go again. Taxi checklist. Okay. Before taxi. There we are. Generators are on, propeed on, anti eyes off, isolation valve auto. Engine start switches continuous. Recall. Checked. Checked. Auto brake. RTO. Engine start levels. Idle detent. Flight controls. Checked. Check auto equipment. Clear. Clear. V4 text checks complete. And uh, 2 jet 553 and uh, release point Lima Alpha 1 request taxi. Please stand up, please. Okay, 603. How long before the for taxi? Second, second, 603. Roger. Security 553, expecting 30 seconds to give way to the aircraft to our left, the requested first uh, uh, startup. Okay, no problem, uh, 553. Okay, we're on the aircraft to the left uh, via Victor Charlie uh, Alpha, holding upon runway 22 and QNH 1007, copy to each at 553. So, left side is clear. Right side clear. Taxi turn off, lights on. Yeah, it's coming. There you go. That's our personal follow me aircraft. Perfect. Yeah. Felix, can we turn it a little bit cooler? Ah, yes, of course. Are you sweating? <laughs> 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 so, and uh, just a short reminder for initially it's 220 degrees track to uh, 3 miles, and then we follow the uh, triple two radial. Yes. Out of uh, Lanaka 12.8, which yes. is uh, identical. 
Okay, I call him ready? Yeah, in sequence. <laughs> <laughs> Jump over the other one. <laughs> Alright, how I log in to EJet 55, trace ready in sequence, so uh, Alpha around me to two. Good evening to EJet 553, tower, uh, hold shot of round. Hold shot to EJet 553. Saw the uh, windsock earlier, and it's uh, right on the runway. So it's captain's takeoff again. Oh. <laughs> 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 but I'm sure you can handle it as well. Ah, yeah, we'll try my very best. <laughs> I switch off the lights here. Yeah? Okay. Yes. Line up runway 2 turn with. Line up runway 2 turn with. Line up runway 2 turn with. So project is clear now. And before takeoff checklist. Before takeoff checklist. Flaps. One green light. Stabilizer turn. 5.4 units before takeoff check was complete. It's easier, isn't it? <laughs> With lights. <laughs> Sorry. So, triple two. You two have control? Five, I have control. Five, clear runway two two, clear for takeoff wind two three zero degrees zero eight knots. Clear for takeoff runway two two, two jet uh, five five three. Okay, ready? Can you switch on the landing lights, please? Ready? Ready. Thrust set. Eighty knots, check. Rotate. Off to break, Gira. Vina speed. Check. N one. Check. Flaps up. So, so three two. miles. Now we follow the uh, two two zero radio. Mm -hmm. Radial triple two. Yep. Set standard. Standard. Flight level two one. Standard level two one.
Geh auf der Decke, Checklist. After takeoff, engine bleeds on, packs auto, landing gear up and off, flaps up, no lights. After takeoff, checklist completed. Okay. So the A and P is at zero 03 again. Okay. Looks like that the uh, DME DME update is working now. Okay. So I think we can uh, refer to Elnaf. Yes. If you don't mind. So select Elnaf, please. Elnaf. Check. We still have the raw data information behind. Yeah. Let's position. Two jet five five three is passing now level seven zero. Do you have a radar signal from us? Affirm. Thank you. So you may switch to power fast on your set. Just make sure that we have uh, the radio. Yeah. So radio zero eight five for time being, but we're turning. Yeah, looks good. The cabin. Okay. Climbing level 320 and we request flight level uh, 380 to jet 553. Roger. Okay. There you go. Command. Check. Okay. So, Felix, I'm off for a second. Okay. I've already uh, I just talked to the uh, cabin and told them we need some coffee, of course. It's a uh, standard procedure here. And uh, I told them that we are nearly on time in Dusseldorf, which is um, now 10 minutes past 11 this evening. Yeah, considering the act of change, I think that was a pretty good turnaround, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. So what we do now is we... We make sure we get the right uh, altitude for cruise, and then we we want to know <laughs> 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 okay. about your week. Of course, <laughs> we heard already that you have a hard time. It was tough. Very yeah, hard yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. FMC speed, Wienerf pass. Check. Okay. Let's get a sip of coffee. Yeah. So honestly, I'm. I was very jealous. You know why? I was Tell jealous me. on Patrick, because <laughs> he <laughs> was one week in the nice sun <laughs> <laughs> while we were sitting in the rain. Yeah, is it? But well, that's not true, Felix. <laughs> we had a nice day. Oh last yeah, week. I already told Patrick yeah. that we flew a Piper Twenty Eight yeah. together. That's nice. Change seats, so, so he so told he showed me how to fly a Piper Twenty Eight. <laughs> so what do you do when you're off and not flying on duty? <laughs> you're <laughs> flying to. Not always. <laughs> Not always. <laughs> Sometimes. What can I, I, I? I was frankly considering just, you know, to throw my cell phone into the Mediterranean and just to stay there forever. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so you talked about uh, that with the uh, chief? With uh, Yeah, absolutely. With the yeah. CEO. I had, had a nice <laughs> chat with Walter there, the, yeah. the boss. Um, the club director was really nice and had a, you know, had a great look into all the different yeah. things. Ultimately, unfortunately, I've been... Uh, you may have noticed that the setup of the really good cameras here is a little bit different. We had four on the way down, now we have three on the <laughs> way back. <laughs> oh. Because just the last day I thought I should take some fancy um, water sports footage. Okay. Just for a few seconds to blend it in. I got that footage, but on one camera which was not waterproof in that setup. The last word that I heard from the surfer was a nasty Loop. word. And then I got some underwater <laughs> footage, <laughs> and, <laughs> and it's, uh, you so know. No shark on the movie. No, <laughs> now it's killed, so I lost one of my best cameras. Yeah. But, uh, you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, uh, no, 
Who cares? It was great. So you guys went out flying. And was it on uh, Wednesday or Thursday? On Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday, yeah. Yeah, yeah I Wednesday think it afternoon. was on Wednesday. Yeah, F Felix gave me a call and he said, "Hey, um, uh, I did it years ago, <laughs> <laughs> and now uh, I want to get a little bit of practice." And um, yeah, yeah, especially he wants to fly to my home, to my uh, yeah, my home place. You mean your home airport? Yeah. <laughs> Do you live basically on the airport? No. Yeah, no. It's a very, very <laughs> nice airfield. <laughs> and then near, um, or nearby Paderborn. And uh, yeah. The As nicest you one. Always said. Felix. The Pardon? nicest one. The <laughs> nicest one, yes. <laughs> okay, of course. I haven't done that uh, probably around 20 years. So, uh, and, uh, oh, really? Yeah, of course, I uh, had to visit a flight school before that. Okay. A couple of hours on the Piper 28 already with a uh, flight instructor. And then I got the uh, rating back after a check ride. Okay, and nice. And uh, yeah, that was basically my first flight after the uh, check ride when I got my rating back. But, uh, you know, still an airplane, but it's very nice to, to fly these uh, smaller airplanes. Yeah, Fist fun. Engine, single yeah. engine. And the airport w were quite different because <laughs> oh yeah, at Felix uh, Base Airport, they have a runway of 2,200 meters. Okay. And uh, we have just 600 meters, which... Uh, is about 1800 feet uh, oh. on, on my airport okay and, uh, <laughs> so it's uh, it's it's quite different <laughs> yeah. okay and the plane was different to the 737 as well mm. much more complicated isn't it <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> when you're not used to it <laughs> yes <laughs> have you checked the footage already yeah i have and yeah, it's super nice it was funny yeah? super nice i mean you guys there, you've seen the footage already, right? And I mean, you would agree, I guess, was really, really nice. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Oh, yes, absolutely. So, Patrick, in the uh, resort, did you do some sport or you just uh, <laughs> <laughs> enjoyed the food? <laughs> well, yeah, okay. It's, it's a bit nasty that you're asking the question the way you do. Because really, I didn't do much sport. <laughs> I would say, <laughs> no. Frankly, I, frankly, I worked a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I had a nice weekend now, but during the weekdays, mm -hmm. it was basically more than full-time work. Mm -hmm. But I had an early morning swim in the ocean and a late evening swim as well. And hey, all. Yeah. And is it is it nice? Is it warm? Uh, it's like a bathtub. It's it's so hot. Yeah, it's yeah. unbelievable. I yeah. that. And of course there was great food, so I really, you know, <laughs> but um, what I what I really have to say is, you know, I'm, I'm totally uh, Robbie nice now and I, I can't I can't stay like this anymore. Yeah. So guys, here we go. Ta-da! <laughs> you see, now I'm amazing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was fast. Huh? Yeah, that was <laughs> fast, <laughs> really. It's only possible <laughs> on air clips. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm totally Robbie nice now because um, we haven't been lucky with the uh, Robinson Resort schemed uh, airplane on the return flight, so I thought I need to compensate for that. Yeah. I mean, it's a fitting outfit, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, I thought you 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 came in a r in a Robbie costume. Yeah, with a <laughs> Robbie <laughs> hat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess my 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 bald head might be a little bit too <laughs> fat for the <laughs> Robbie hat <laughs> sizes. So you don't want to show us the uh, Robbie dance. Uh, um, I could. I'm not. <laughs> 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 I'm not sure if you really want to see it. I arrived in the evening. It was dark. Um, dinner was almost over. Yeah. And um, I was super exhausted. So I'm not the most talkative guy then necessarily. And it took like five minutes that some family saw me sitting there alone. Alone. And said, mm -hmm. you know, come join us. Yeah. It's, it's really. Yeah. And I think this is this resort mm. thing. And it was super nice. And really made some nice friends some nice evenings with nice mm. people um by by intuition really it was really good Th yeah, that was the same experience i i made yeah mm -hmm. yeah that's really something that you don't have in a regular hotel or location mm -hmm. it was really that's special true. about robinson and they have al uh, also these big tables where you yeah you you can't sit alone <laughs> actually you could but it's somehow it's you know yeah, people are like, course. "Hey, come over here, mm -hmm. come over there." And yes, mm -hmm. yeah, that's I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really nice. Mm -hmm. So, but now I think I have to get back and adjust to normal life. Yeah, you know, will be. 
<laughs> it will be hard as well. <laughs> yeah. Have to do a lot of but editing. <laughs> eating less than four times a day. And so I hope you will show something of your week in the video. Absolutely. I've already shown some stuff um, between our flights. But, but now, as a little special, I can show you how my my precious camera died. You <laughs> see it? <laughs> <So> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's the sequence, guys. Enjoy. Nine! <laughs> this is life, isn't it? Yeah, it's absolutely. And I don't regret anything. It was, mm. it, and actually, the footage was great, wasn't it? I mean, yeah, I, uh, it's <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> really fun. They got everything for for water sports mm. and for all the different courses. They got whatever yoga, workout. They have also this uh, cats. Cats. The, the, uh, the um <laughs> <laughs> they, they have a lot of cats there, but I'm not <laughs> uh, I, uh, I mean the s the sailboats, um, the catamarans. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We <laughs> I have control. We call it cats in, in, in Germany, <laughs> you know. I, I don't know, maybe it's something different. I probably just got too much sun today. We have some uh, yeah. special words. Okay, <laughs> yeah, they got them as well, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, here first officer again. Some additional end route information on the right and lower side. A pretty nice view of the uh, city of Izmir. Thank you very much. Back. Yep. Nothing, Felix. So what I what I found really fun during this week was, uh, you know, you you guys you knew that uh, you know the 737 Max which I don't have in my pro portfolio, it always gives me a little ah, you know, a little <laughs> uh, stitch into my heart when mm -hmm. I see pictures of it. So you you were trying to challenge me a little bit by sending all the nice Max pictures that you were flying, and yeah. I was trying to conquer that with some pictures from the buffet, right? So, <laughs> but you, you did some nice uh, max flying then in between, Felix. Yes, yeah? I love this airplane. It's nice. Probably the best airplane I've ever flew. Yeah. So I will do. Um, I will do the uh, the um, uh, the simulator in October. So uh, nice. okay. because Felix is based in Düsseldorf and they, the first uh, Max is based in Düsseldorf. So um, all the Düsseldorf pilots um, are Max rated. All right, and uh, we in Hanover, we get our first max in uh, October or November, so we get the training now. Okay, nice. Okay, yeah. super nice. If you like, I can show you your landing, and you can. Who did the landing? It was probably you, Sven, I guess, or yeah, yeah. So today you can give him a rating for that. Yeah. Exactly. I, sh I show <laughs> it. <laughs> I, sh I show it to you, and then then you can give him you a know, rating. I, I gave him a rating on his five by twenty eight landing. landing yeah. <laughs> I, I, I said it was perfect. It was just one meter left of center line. <laughs> uh, that's, that's, that's what usually happens. So the captains always land left on the center line. First officers oh on the yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. you have to avoid that. Okay. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Guess what I did on the Piper twenty eight. <laughs> <laughs> Landed left of center line. Okay, Felix. Here we go. Now, now for a for a proper rating of the landing here. Yeah. Looks perfect. I can tell you. You <laughs> mean you mean the camera <laughs> work? <or? laughs> At least he's very self-confident, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, that, that's an asset already. Always. Yeah, yeah, that was a smooth, nice landing, Captain. It, it was <laughs> pretty Thanks. good. It was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and it's a nice. Look at this well. nice beautiful nice livery, yeah. Nice plane. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. It's this one and the Robinson yeah. plane. Yeah, it's beautiful, I think, yeah. Chop. Here we you go. You saw the smooth braking? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> also that, yeah. <laughs> No, it just spoils the landing by <laughs> saying he was left on center line. <laughs> <laughs> could no, could have seen that. <laughs> just kidding. S some, you know, sometimes. <laughs> so, and you guys, you, you already had a long working day today, but you look totally fresh and relaxed. Like, uh, what's <laughs> what's the secret behind that? Did you did you have <laughs> 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 did you have? Yeah. Uh, you've been working during Thank you. during the week. You've been uh, flying during the week too. Or? Uh, yes, I, I went to um, Mahon, Menorca. Okay. And uh, I went to Patras in northern Greece, which was beautiful. And um, yeah, you know, we're used to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> obviously. And I, yeah. and I had two days off at home. It wasn't was um, good. 
So that's like the usual pattern that you would have something like how many days on, how many days off? Is there any? It depends. Yeah. In the moment, it's still uh, the um, COVID flight plan, which is sure. um, not the normal one. Yeah. But uh, usually we we work like five days on, two days off, or three days off, and okay. then uh, maybe four days on. So it depends, and we have uh, quite different flights. We fly. The shortest one is like, um, or the the very shortest it's the night mail. You just said night mail. You you're flying mail services. In yeah, we fly mail service on two um, two routes, uh, one to Stuttgart, Hanover to Stuttgart, one from Hanover to Munich. Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know this still exists. No, this is amazing. Yeah. So Hanover, is there uh, no night curfew for these flights or? Um, no, actually not. But um, we have an exception for Stuttgart. Okay. The worst thing is Hanover is uh, 24 hours. Uh, so well, yeah. <laughs> well, it's my own you know. Yeah. <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> this is worse, yeah. but it's good for the airline, of yes, course. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. So, and how is that done? This is done on your regular passenger aircraft, and you got these bags on the yeah, seats. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Cool. And it, it's uh, the logistic is is quite complicated, and they uh, have to get all these boxes on the plane within like two hours, and. Um, it's a lot of work to do that and then it's just an hour flight to, to Stuttgart or to Munich and they uh, get all these boxes uh, off the plane and on the uh, on the road again amazing really so amazing yeah it's interesting yeah you have to do a you have to do a movie about that one I would, would love be to anytime. would yeah. be interesting yeah it should mm. be very interesting yeah, yeah. nice but oh. maybe you have to uh, you have to glue a camera to a to a letter <laughs> on a package or something. And in fact, this is what uh, this is exactly the the thought that I had because when I do cargo planes, I really like to put one camera onto a pallet, you yeah. know. And it mm -hmm. so, but for this fast thing, it could eventually be really something to have it on one, you know, yeah, on one package or something. Mm -hmm. One package, mm -hmm. yeah, amazing. Yeah, I, I would I would send that package. Do you know what, guys? I, I just realized that I actually have been intuitively cheating on Walter and the Robinson Club. In a, in a You're cheating. Yeah. I just realized it and I, I like that because unintentionally <laughs> I, I kept my room <laughs> as it <laughs> was. <laughs> oh no, we have to return back to the Robins Club. We are coming on the car. <laughs> exactly, we're coming back. So did you learn the, the Robbie song? I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what about you? Do you recall how it goes? Oh uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. I mean, ba background <laughs> of this, you know, it's not gonna happen now. But just before, <laughs> you know, before we got ready, um, before the flight, we were actually singing the Robbie song here <laughs> yeah, because we all still <laughs> remembered. But we we decided not to bring it on camera. No. Uh, <laughs> you, you wouldn't want to hear it. And the uh, descent checklist, please. Descent, pressurization, landing, altitude 150, recall, check, check, auto brakes 3, landing data. VREF uh, 30, 136, uh, minimums, baro 330. VREF 30, 136, minimums, baro 330. Approach briefing? Completed. Descent checklist completed. Left 265, clear to LS, uh, 2 3 left to Jet 553. So, 265. Okay, flaps 1. Retard MCP speed. Um, check. 
Beautiful. One thousand feet to level off. Check. Uh, Warlock glide slope. <laughs> Check. Localizer live. Check. Two jet five five three established. Two jet five five three one zero contact tower one one eight three zero five ciao. One one eight three zero five and thank you very much for the uh, offer for the two three left. You're welcome. Just keep it speedy, danke. Of course. Okay, menu flight, menu thrust. Flight director. Check. Düsseldorf, schönen guten Abend. Tui Jet 553, established ALS, 2-3 left. Tui Jet 553, schönen guten Abend. Wing 350, 2-0, 2-3 left, clear to land. Clear to land, 2-3 left, Tui Jet 553. The Cape Royal Lima 7 and Pakistan will be Victor 76. Victor 76 to the Cape Royal Lima 7, uh, 2 jet 553. This is almost where we left uh, today. Gear down, flaps 15. So Lima India 1850. Check. Now seven knots tail. Flaps 30. Speed for F plus five. Landing checklist. Landing. Engine start switches. Continues. Speed brake. Armed. Landing gear. Down. And flaps. Starting your light. Landing checklist completed. Master caution anti ice. Okay. Okay, it's uh, overheat light as discussed before. Side window left, correct? Yeah, windshield air is on. Check. And then switch it to off as we yeah. read it in the checklist. Affirm. So it's 11 left tail. 1000 stable. Check. Yeah, 10 knots tail. On the ground, it's just from the side. Okay. In case of missed approach, we have to expect an early turn. Yeah, I know. There's an aircraft coming opposite. Yeah, you, you can actually see it. You see the condor. Yeah. Do an RP approach. Five hundred. Check. Twelve knots tailwind. Check. Approaching minimums. Check. Minimums. Landing. So the wind uh, is decreasing. Check. Speed breaks up. Reverse is normal. For uh, menu brakes. Auto brake disarm. Sixty. I have control. You have control. Victor 76, Victor 76, Lima 7, Victor 76, Victor 76, Victor 76, Victor 76, Victor 76, Victor 
interesting situation with the um, yeah. with the traffic on the opposite ILS. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Taxi turn off lights off. Have a close look to the right with this antenna mast here. It's a light pole, yeah. Yeah, it looks fine on the right. So, Felix, um, shutdown checklist, please. Shutdown checklist. Fuel pumps, except one propeat, auto, uh, hydraulic panel, set, flaps, up, parking brake, um, set, engine start levers, cut off, vessel radar, off, off, the uh, shutdown checklist, please. Okay, chocks in place. So, Felix, this was an interesting day, wasn't it? Yeah, it was an interesting landing as well. I yeah. Mean, you, have, you have another yeah. aircraft opposite, um, then you're landing with tailwind. And you can actually feel how it floated. <laughs> yeah. So, it, of course, it was a smooth landing, but it was not really good landing because it was a bit too long. But, you know, with, with tailwind, it's a very light aircraft. Yeah, but for not the environmental say. conditions, you, you yeah. did a great job in my eyes. On the other hand, when you do a go around and the Condor is head on. Uh, no option. <laughs> At the end. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Looked interesting. You're kind of uh, committed to land. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that's interesting. But it's a uh, controller at the end who decides yeah. what the minimum separation is. And of course, he had a plan B in yeah. case we do a go around. Mm -hmm. A missed approach. Yeah. Ciao. Yeah. Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> so, Patrick. It was nice to have you here <laughs> with us. Thank you so much, Sven. And Thank of you course so much, it Felix. Was Nice to have you here with us and uh, joining us on this interesting day with this uh, beautiful plane with a Robinson livery and uh, I hope you have a nice introduction into the Robinson resorts. I hope that uh, Patrick gave you something for your decision for the next holiday. Hope to see you again. Hope to see you again on one of our planes and uh, Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. Also from my side. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you so much in the name of all of us, guys. Thumbs up for these gentlemen, please. Leave some nice comments. That would be fantastic. Thank you so much for this nice trip. Really great to look behind the scenes of a special livery plane here to get a better understanding of what it is about. That's awesome. And usually w one thing that I've been missing for a reason is, okay. you know, and before we do the interviews in flight, you know, I have these world famous air clips hollywood pills for <laughs> for adding some <laughs> relaxation you guys you've been such cool customers you didn't need them but now for an evening off the hollywood pills for you well yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you. you for a relaxed evening <laughs> okay thank you so much guys <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks okay. a lot. bye everyone oh, good one <laughs> wie ging denn das lied noch ich habe das nicht mehr im kopf jetzt gerade Ah ja, genau. Macht ihr nicht irgendwann dann so? Ja, ja. Cool, schaut euch mal den Robby an, wie der Robby tanzen kann. Und vergiss es. Das war Naja, genau genommen läuft ja schon alles. Aber dann habe ich keine Sorge.
Airclips.com